Hello everyone and welcome you all to this channel my research support so today in this video we will be discussing about 5 free AI detection tools and to use them even sign up is not required. So we will evaluate the accuracy and effectiveness of all these AI detectors by checking two files. First file is entirely generated by using ChatGPT and second file where I have rewritten my own text by using ChatGPT. So we will see at what level all these AI detectors are capable to detect the AI score from generated documents and rewritten documents. And do not skip the last part which I feel the most important part where we will be comparing these reports with Turnitin's AI reports and based on that you will judge the accuracy and effectiveness of these free AI detectors and you will make your choice to move ahead with which AI detector tool. So without any further ado, let's start. Now let me generate some text by using ChatGPT and for that I'll be using this prompt to write an introduction section for my research paper entitled and this is the topic of my research paper in 500 words and simply enter. Once your introduction is generated, you have to copy this text from here and you have to paste that text into your word file. So I have named this file as test file and simply I would like to click on save. So for demonstration purpose, I have considered this short piece of text, but you can also consider the long files. Now the first AI detection tool is Scriber's AI detection tool. So as I said, sign up is not required in order to use this AI tool. And here in one submission, you can just paste maximum 12,000 words. For example, here at once you can paste 12,000 words max and you have also the support for French, Spanish and German. So let me go back to my word file. Let me copy this data. I have to paste it here and then I need to click on analyze text. So you can see this scriber is showing 100% AI generated text. Now let us move towards the second AI detection tool which is 0GPT. So in this interface also, you have to paste the copied text. See, I have provided all these links into the video description. So you can refer to that and then you have to click on detect text. So here also you'll be able to see that GPT-0 is showing 100% AI generated text. So at once you can paste 15,000 characters max. So now I have pasted 3,593 characters and if you want to paste more than 15,000 characters at once, then you need to upgrade here. Okay, but as such, it is not required. You may simply paste three to four pages here. Then again, you can move ahead pasting another three to four pages. In this way, this will work and you can check unlimited files. So now let me move towards the third AI detection tool, which is content detector.ai. So you have to paste the copy text here and then you can click on scan. And now you can see this, it is showing 50% AI generated text. So let us now move towards the next AI detection tool, which is Quillboard's AI detection tool. So in similar fashion, you may paste that text, which we have generated is in chat GPT and you have to click on analyze text. So Quillboard is also showing it is 100, this text is 100% AI generated. Now let us move towards the last tool which is Julius AI detector. Okay, the only limitation is you can only paste 2000 characters at once. Obviously, you will check the AI score from unlimited words, but at once you can only paste maximum 2000 characters for roughly 400 to 500 words. So let me just paste the copy text which generated by chat GPT here. So see input text cannot exceed 2000 characters. Now let's click on detect AI. So you'll be able to see this. It is showing 50% AI score. So obviously this Julius AI detector tool is not that much effective to detect AI score. However, its data analysis capabilities are really excellent. So if you are looking for the data analysis of your research paper or PhD work, then definitely you can prefer this Julius.ai. But obviously that is a paid tool. Its AI detector is only free tool. Now let me rewrite my own text by using ChatGPT and we will see whether these AI detectors are capable to detect AI score from the rewritten documents. So this is my file. So this text I have written in my own words. So simply I need to copy this text and I'll just move to ChatGPT. I'll put a prompt as rewrite and I'll paste copy text and then you have to enter. So let me copy this rewritten text once again and I'll just replace this text with this rewritten version. Okay. 
and I have saved this file as test file rewrite. Now let me copy all this text. So let us move towards first scribers AI detection tool. So I would like to delete previous text and would like to paste this rewritten text and you have to click on analyze text. So you will see this it is showing 100%. Now let us move towards the second tool which is 0zpt. I would like to delete this just paste this text and click on detect text. So here you can see this the 0zpt is showing 51.99% text is AI generated and then let us move towards the third AI detector which is content detector.ai so let me delete this just paste it and you have to click on scan so you can see this so this content detector.ai is showing 33.33% AI score so let us move towards Qlboot you have to click on analyze text so Qlboot is also showing 100% AI detection so let me now move towards the last AI detector which is Julius AI detector. So delete this, paste this text and detect AI. So this Julius.ai is also showing 50% AI score. Now let us evaluate Turnitin AI reports for both these files. So you can see these two reports have already checked by using Turnitin. So first is AI for test file. So this is the file which is generated by using ChatGPT. So let us just look at this AI report. So you can see this Turnitin is also showing 100% AI score for the text we have generated through ChatGPT. Now let us discuss about the file that we have rewritten by using ChatGPT. So this is the AI score report. So it is showing only 20% text as AI generated. So that is the main important parameter to judge the effectiveness of any AI detector. So for example, the AI detection tool which is showing 100% for both these files. So you should prefer this tool or maybe the AI detector which is showing 50% or 20% for rewritten text and 100% for generated text. So whether you should prefer that tool. So you can refer to this table and simply you have to think about one parameter which is the commonly used AI detector by journals and which is the commonly used AI detector by different universities. So the only answer is Turnitin is used by most of the universities and even journals. So you can rely on this Turnitin's AI detection scores and if you compare all these AI detectors then 0zpt is close to Turnitin's AI score so you may prefer to use the 0zpt for your research documents. So these are the free choices but still in my personal opinion if it is at all possible to you to get your documents checked maybe through your university if your university has this access then you can get it checked through Turnitin so you have to first give the preference to the Turnitin so if you don't have access to the Turnitin as it is not a free freely available tool then only you may move ahead with the 0zpt so thank you very much for watching this video I hope this information will help you please do not forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so I'll see in my next video bye bye